Are you considering vision correction surgery with EVO ICL, also sold as implantable contact lens? First, let's get something straight. It's not an implantable contact lens. It's an implantable columnar lens. In other words, intraocular lens. Eye surgeons falsely market EVO ICLs as implantable contact lenses, hoping to take the fear out of having a dangerous, unnecessary medical device implanted inside your eye, precariously between your iris and your natural lens. In this video, we'll talk about the most common reason for EVO ICL adverse events reported to the FDA, which is the problem of improper sizing, which affects the vault or another way to put it, the critical position of the ICL in that tight little space inside your eye. But first, if you like these videos, please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell to be notified of all of my future uploads, and like this video. It really helps my channel, so thank you. Okay, let's get started. After surgery, if the EVO ICL is too close to the eye's natural lens, it increases the risk of cataracts. If the EVO ICL is too close to the iris and cornea, it increases risk of iris damage, glaucoma, and loss of endothelial cells on the back of the cornea, which keep the cornea clear. Vault, intraocular pressure, and corneal endothelial cells should be closely monitored for as long as you have EVO ICLs inside your eyes. Hundreds of reports are filed each month with the FDA of improper EVO ICL sizing. Sometimes the surgeon decides to remove or exchange the ICL. Either way, it's another risky intraocular surgery. Sometimes the surgeon decides to leave the ICL in place and just monitor the patient. Leaving an ICL in place with improper vault places the patient at increased risk for future complications, complications which may be catastrophic. Now let's look at a table from the FDA required clinical trial for the EVO ICL, which shows insufficient and excessive vault in the eyes of patients in the clinical trial at six months after surgery. You can find this table on page 31 of the Summary of Safety, Safety and Effectiveness Data, which I will provide a link to in the description box below. As you can see, more than 16% of primary eyes and more than 17% of all eyes, which includes fellow eyes, had vault abnormalities according to this table. But I want to point out something here. Optimum vault is 250 to 750 microns. For excessive vault, they only reported eyes with vault greater than 900 microns, but they should have reported vault greater than 750 microns. I'd like to know, one, how many eyes they failed to report with vault between 750 and 900, two, why they are hiding the true number of eyes with excessive vault, and three, why the FDA let them get away with this. What we do know is that the percentage of eyes with vault abnormalities at six months was a lot higher than 17%. You might be wondering, why is this such a problem? Why can't eye surgeons get the sizing and vault right in the first place? The FDA and EVO ICL manufacturer, Star Surgical, proposed one method of sizing, but after surgeons encountered so many complications related to ICL sizing and vault, they began proposing new sizing methods. I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is an article published in November 2023 in the journal Clinical Ophthalmology. These authors searched the medical literature for articles pertaining to ICL sizing nomograms or formulas. If you scroll down, you'll see under results, they identified 18 different ICL sizing nomograms. Think about that. If sizing weren't a problem, why would there be so many different sizing methods proposed? Shouldn't there be just one proven accurate method of sizing? And since there is no one accurate method, how do you know which surgeon is using the best method of ICL sizing? You don't. And I have a feeling that more sizing formulas and nomograms are still to come. If you're considering EVO ICL surgery, here's my advice. Don't be a guinea pig. Sizing is a big problem with EVO ICLs, which is why there are hundreds of adverse events reported every month to the FDA of problems with ICL sizing. 
Remember, improper sizing increases your risk of cataracts, iris damage, glaucoma, and loss of endothelial cells that keep your cornea clear. You only have one pair of eyes. Play it safe. Keep your glasses. And check out my channel for more EVO ICL warnings.